Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Medieval. Last time we defeated the crystal caves, including the dragon within, and got the dragon armor, which is not as good as it sounds. But today we are entering the Gallows Gauntlet. Which sounds like a battle arena if I've ever heard one. Alright, so we have our magic sword out, and... Two life bottles plus 250 health. Um, okay. Well, those guys just came right at me. Take care not to wake the serpent of Galamir. It is a most powerful supernatural creature that was bound somewhere within these chasm walls. If you encounter it, run. I never run from anything, though. Also, let's, uh, make sure that we're not missing anything. Okay. Guess not. Wow, this is music. Oh, hello. Are they, like, pole vaulters, or what the heck is happening here? I just keep losing health for what feels like no reason. Oh, let's just, uh, chill out here for a second. Maybe charge up an attack while I'm, you know, waiting. Should definitely be doing that more often. I I recommend doing that if you are playing this game, in fact. But uh, sometimes I'm just very forgetful. Um, hmm, okay. That worked about as well as I expected it to. Which is to say, not at all. They're just kind of like weirdly spear charging and stuff. I, d I don't understand the attack pattern whatsoever. That's a mummy zombie guy. He's not hard. Honestly, neither of these. It's just like, for one thing, they start battle falling over. So it's kind of like, hard to hit them. And there's the exit. Huh. Obviously, we're not going to use that yet. Alright, so we have some hanged men. What is this suddenly persona? Unable to pass through the fiery dragon gate? Well, only use this alternative route if no other is available to return to the map of Galamir. So basically, this is if you are a wimp and need to exit. But it does give you access to a really fast, um... Um... Thing. Fountain of Reju Rejuvenation. So... That is a lot of these weird red dudes. Gotta love how a lot of this game just comes down to tanking. <laughs> um, there should be one left. There you are. Getting pinpricked to death. It's pretty annoying. Um, I need to turn down the volume. It, even at, like, volume 8, it's too loud. Uh, I require star rune for that one. Got him without any casualty. Ow. There's the grail, though I don't know how to open it. Even if I did, though, I wouldn't be able to access it. So it's not really that big a deal right now, I suppose. But it will become one here shortly, so. I wonder if percentages are like stable across the board in terms of monsters. <sighs> this magical barrier was constructed by the dragons of old. Only those brave enough to adorn the dragon armor may pass through this fiery gateway. Oh, okay. So that's what the dragon armor is actually for then. Because it's definitely not for its combat potential, I'll tell you that. And that just leads right back around in a circle. Alright. Well, let's uh, go into our inventory and equip the dragon armor then. Oh yeah, that's right, we also have lightning. I prefer to save that for, um, how you say, boss fights. Actually, this is not terrible, because it gives you a little bit of range. But at the same time, it's also really weak. 
All right, so we have passed through the gates. Um, odd. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I understand what it means by the Dragon of Galamir now. Uh, let's see. Well, that's a supply thing. That's some money. That's that's a gate into the abyss. That's the star room, but I don't know where that was. And finally, this button, which opens those. And now I need the dragon armor again. Okay. Uh, well, we have this thing if I need it. That requires the star rune, but I need to figure out where it is. Um, that's the alternate exit if you don't have the dragon armor for whatever reason. This is a button. That releases the chalice. Which we are 95% to, by the way. That tells me I'm missing, like, an enemy somewhere. Is it the dragon? Do I need to kill the dragon? Perhaps. Well, also, perhaps if I found that star rune, I would uh, be able to continue onwards. Though, where it is is another question entirely. There's an energy vial. Could always use that. Um, that's the dragon gate. Is it the dragon gate? Is it on the other side and I just missed it somehow? On one hand, I doubt this is the case, but on the other, I don't see any other possibilities. I also don't see that uh, shop I supposedly opened. Oh, well, okay. I found the shop. That's good. Um, out of curiosity, how much is lightning? Not under services, it's under supplies. Um, what? Okay, I was thinking it would be regenerating if you had it up, but no. Is it just a finite resource and once you use it up, it's gone forever? That would be a bit odd. Especially considering what I've found in this game so far. Maybe I have to blow this up. Okay, well, I did that and it didn't do anything. Now we have access to Chalice though, so that's something. Um... Hmm. All right, let's re-equip the dragon armor, I suppose. Nope, there is nothing back here. Well, um, I'm gonna run around here for a bit and meet you guys back if I find anything. 
Oh. I already had the rune? Since when? Okay, well, apparently I already had it. Silly me. And now I can get the chalice. So, screw you. I'm going back to go get it. Um, I'm honestly baffled, though. When did that happen? Ha am I just that tired that I have completely forgotten that I grabbed the chalice? Or, uh, the... The star rim? I mean, the answer has to be yes, right? Otherwise, it makes no sense. Alright. Well. I guess people have probably been screaming at the screen for a while. Telling me I already grabbed it. Um, uh, speaking of already grabbing, where is the chalice? Oh, I think it was in there. No. That, no. That's not the case. Um, ah, there you go. Boom. Hall of Heroes awaits. Okay. And that's one really short level done. Not exactly difficult. And not filled with bottomless pits from top to bottom. So that's always a plus. Hmm. I guess they didn't have any witty dialogue for us. Alright, so let's see if anybody here has some stuff for me. It's not her. It's the centaur again. Am I gonna get magic flaming arrows this time? Because <laughs> that would just be silly. Oh, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, right? That's the same exact line he's used every other time. Oh! That's definitely useful. I will take that. A free life bottle? Heck yeah. So we now have six of nine, I believe, are how many are in this game? I would need to get that number again. But... With that done, I guess that will be all for this absurdly short episode of Let's Play Medieval. Next time, we'll be heading... Saving is not the fastest thing ever in this game. <laughs> Alright, so next time, we'll be heading to... The Haunted Ruins. There's a, there's a fun name for a level for you. But, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to ring that little bell for notifications on all my uploads, generally every Saturday. And, if you look down below now, there is some links in the description for all my social medias, including Twitch. Don't forget to follow me there for notifications on all my streams. Yep. Until then, later guys.